11 points with a couple minutes remaining in quarter number one. So Rock Valley's been chipping away at the Comets, but still hasn't overcome that advantage. And we're set to go here with the third quarter of play. Just one player in foul trouble, John Mirbeek of the Rockets, has sat down considerable minutes in the first half. Because of fouls, he picked up his third after re-entering midway to the second quarter. And he's back on the floor now as the Rockets and the Comets have their starting five in there. Comets will have the ball to start the third quarter. Sean Kelderman, Troy Wolber, Martin Bespin, Dan Anderson, and Nathan Dornbaugh. So here come the Comets with a double team out front on Wolber. Tries to get it to Anderson. Does left side of Kelderman. Goes baseline underneath Dornbaugh. Shot is blocked, but a foul called to the Rockets. Foul inside on Bruce and Kekerich trying to block the shot of Dornbaugh from behind. And for Van Kekerich, that is foul number one. And it'll be free throw time for Boyden Hull's Nathan Dorenbaugh. Again, the biggest difference in that first half free throw shooting. The Comets was four of seven. Rock Valley one of three. Free throw by Dorenbaugh is no good. So one more free throw coming here to Dorenbaugh as we're just underway here in quarter number three. Free throw. No good. Rebound. Kelderman goes up. No good. Ball tipped by Anderson. Controlled by Johnson. And Johnson was fouled by Nate Dorenbaugh. So two misses by Dorenbaugh from the free throw line. And then Dorenbaugh commits the foul. That's his third. He becomes the first Comet with three fouls. And the Rockets have it back. Keith Ranshaw, Aaron Johnson, Bruce Van Kekrick, John Mirbeek, and Jesse Lang for Rock Valley. And Kekrick's up top to Lang. Right wing to Ranshaw. Lang had 10 points to lead the Rockets in the first half. Dan Anderson, 15 to lead the Comets. In the lane, Ranshaw gives to Lang. Underneath, loses Dornbach, lays it in. Jesse Lang with a basket. He's got six field goals. And it's a two-point ball game, 25-23. Comets with the ball. Anderson up top. Anderson left wing to Kelderman. Kelderman back to Anderson up top. Baseline right to Denbeston, puts it up over Ranshaw. No good. Rebound, Rock Valley. And Kekrick pulls it down to Ranshaw. Left side pass to Johnson for three. It's no good, but we've got a whistle inside. A shove called against Rock Valley. One of the Rockets positioning himself for the rebound. And we've got a foul on Mirbeek, and that is number four. So John Mirbeek will have to sit down again for the Rockets. He went out with two and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Didn't come back until about midway to the second quarter. Then went down with a third foul. Now he's got number four. And he's out of there as Mark Wolfwinkel returns. So Boyden Hall with the ball, protecting a two-point advantage. 25-23. Kelderman in the lane to Dornboss. His 10-footer short. Rebound is tipped twice by Van Kekrick. Taken by Dornboss. He puts it up and in. Nathan Dornboss with two field goals. 27-23. Boyden Hall. Rockets front court. Van Kekrick. Dribbles free throw line. Stops. Back up top to Ranshaw. Left side Johnson. Down low to Lang. Turns on Dornbach. Double team to Lane. The shot blocked. Tipped away. Wilbur saves to Lang. He goes inside and scores. Jesse Lang with a basket. He's got 14. And it's back to a two point. Boyd and Hull lead at 27 25. Wilbur to Anderson. High post. Down low to Dornbach. Puts it up. No good. Rebound Wolfswinkel. Now the Rockets on the run. Ranshaw in the middle. Ranshaw free throw line. Right side of Lang. Puts it up. Blocked out of bounds by Dan Anderson, but a foul on Anderson. Dan Anderson picks up number two. That's the second team foul on the Comets. It'll be free throw time for Rock Valley's Jesse Lang. Lang with seven field goals tonight and will shoot his first free throws of the evening. He'll get two. Lang's free throw. Is good. 15 for Lang. It's a one point. Boyden Hull lead at 27 26. Lang with one more free throw. It's up and it's good. We've got a tie score at 27. 5.57 left to play in the third quarter. Wolber double team backcourt in the full court pressure. Now did Beston double team sideline to Wolber. And now we've got a reach and foul on McKechrick. And Kekrick tried to tip away the dribble of Wolver and was called for the reach-in foul. And for Bruce Van Kekrick, that's number two. Third team foul on the Rockets. 27-27 our score. And the ball out of bounds to Boyden Hull. Rockets with full court pressure. Now they back it off to man-for-man -man defense as Wolver will 
bring the dribble front court. High post Anderson. Dan Anderson with the ball. On a wing to Dinbeston, down low to Kelderman. Turns up top to Anderson, right side to Dinbeston. Five and a half to play third quarter to Kelderman. Fakes, puts it up, no good, but draws a foul. Kelderman, fake, then Kekerich's into the air. Excuse me. Was that Van Kekerich? Yeah, he got Van Kekerich's in the air. And then leaned in for the shot and drew the foul. And for Bruce Van Kekerich's, it's number four. So Van Kekerich's will have to sit down with his fourth foul. He becomes the second rocket starter to sit down in foul trouble. And going to the free throw line for Boyd and Hull will be Sean Kelderman. Kelderman has not scored tonight. He'll get two free throws here. First one is good. So Kelderman breaks the tie. 28-27, Boyd and Hull, second free throw, no good. Rebound, Jesse Lang. Mid-court heave, comes to Dystra, behind the back dribble, loses, Kellerman drives inside for the basket. Matt Dystra's first field goal gives Rock Valley a 29-28 lead, just their second lead of the night. Thomas with the ball, 5-10 to go here in quarter number three. Dan Anderson up top, left wing to Wolber, down low to Dornbach, baseline left. Back in the wing to Wolber, left side of the basket. Wolber on the dribble, goes up top. Thomas reset the offense. Kelderman looking for Anderson inside. He's got it. Across the lane to Dornbach, drops it. We've got a tied ball. No, three seconds called on the Thomas. The ball was tipped away from Dornbach, and as he tried to retain possession, he was called for three seconds. So Rock Valley at 29-28 lead over Boyd in the hollow. They have the basketball. Here's Johnson. Baseline Lang, guarded by Dornbach, back to Johnson for a three, it's no good. Rebound taken by Dinbeston. So the Comets have it back. To Wolber, Wolber will take the ball front court for Boydenhall, four and a half minutes to go here in quarter number three. Baseline pass, Dinbeston puts it up, no good. Rebound Wolber, fakes, he's double teamed, tried to put it up, blocked. Gives it over to Dornbach for 10 footer, that's no good. Rebound to Wolfswinkle for Rock Valley to Ranshaw, ahead to Dystra, drives inside, puts it up and in. Second drive and a basket for Matt Dystra, and Rock Valley has the lead at 31 to 28. Thomas with the ball, Anderson up top. Four minutes to go third quarter as the Rock Valley fans making a heap of noise and a timeout called by Paul Walton of Boyden Hall. 3.56 to go in the third quarter. 31 for Rock Valley, 28 for Boyden Hall. Back with more in 30 seconds. At Iowa State Bank of Hall, they're constantly changing to keep up with the very latest in banking services. They're also expanding into the Sheldon area to further serve Northwest Iowa. Iowa State Bank's commitment to the Hall area is unfaltering. They will continue to offer you the outstanding products and services they're known for. We hope that you'll see them for their local Visa and MasterCard. With tax time here, check out what they have to offer in IRA products. Plus, right now, they have a very affordable real estate loan package. With 117 years of experience, Iowa State Bank of Hull looks forward to serving you well into the next century, too. Iowa State Bank of Hull, an equal housing lender and member FDIC. Well, the Rock Valley Rockets have come alive here in the third quarter. They were trailing four at halftime, but have taken the lead at 31 to 28 here with 3.56 to go in quarter number three. Rockets have two players in foul trouble, Bruce and Kekricks and John Mirbeek. But one of those substitutes, Matt Dykstra, has come up with two big baskets for the Rockets, one to give them the lead, and the next to extend it to three points. Comets against trapping defense. Baseline, Anderson turns on Lang. Jumper good. Dan Anderson answers back for Boyd and Hull as the Comets pull back within one at 31-30. Now Rock Valley front court. Matt Dykstra with the ball. Gangley 6'4", sophomore. Down low to Lang. Double team stripped away by Kelderman. Out of bounds to the Rockets. The Rock Valley plays it in to the right of their basket. Aaron Johnson to trigger the ball. Right side to Ranshaw. Ranshaw looking for Lang. The lob is tipped, tipped away from Kelderman, but he recovers. Then Beston touched it first. Kelderman picked it off. Ahead to Anderson. Anderson tries to go inside. Ball tipped away. Anderson goes to the floor, and he's fouled by Ranshaw. Ranshaw trying to pick Anderson's pocket. Almost got away with it, but instead was called for the reach-in foul. And that is his second. 16 fouls in the Rockets. Ball out of bounds to Boyd in the hole. 318 to go in quarter number three. Martin Beston to trigger the ball for Boyd in the hole. 
He is to the left of his team's basket, and, uh, well, now they'll play it in sideline. So Kelderman will trigger the ball for the Comets in front of their bench. As we head back to play, inside pass Dornbos. Baseline, fakes, can't shoot. To Kelderman, looking for Dornbos. Inside pass, stolen by Dykstra. Dykstra took it away from Kelderman to Ranshaw. Ranshaw, left sideline, setting up the play for the Rockets. Right side, Dykstra, fakes on Kelderman, and he's called for traveling. Kelderman's been called for that traveling move a couple of times, and now Dykstra picks up that traveling violation. They make the fake, take the step, then the dribble, pull the pivot foot, and cause the turnover. Comets with the ball, high post, tipped away, stolen by Ranshaw. Again, Dykstra tipped it loose, ahead to Wolfswinkle, baseline, a collision, and we got a blocking foul on Sean Kelderman. Kelderman trying to draw the charge, instead called for the block, his first personal foul. Three team fouls on Boyd in the Hull. Ball out of bounds to Rock Valley. 2.48 left in quarter number three. Aaron Johnson to play it into the left of the Rock Valley basket. Pass sideline, tipped out of bounds by Denbeston. Denbeston got in front of Ranshaw and tipped it out of bounds. It belongs to Rock Valley, this time from their sideline in front of the Rock Valley student section. Pass into Renshaw. He's up top on the dribble, guarded by Denbeston in the common man for man. Inside pass to Lang. Clears it on a wing to Dykstra. Back up top to Renshaw. Renshaw dribbles left side near the hash mark. Fakes, goes into the lane, gives to Lang right side to Johnson. Hands it off to Dykstra. Dykstra on the dribble, steps out of bounds. Dykstra stepped back off the double team and stepped on the sideline. It'll belong to Boyd and Hull. 2.28 to go here in quarter number three. 31 to 30, Rock Valley leading Boyden Hull with Comets with a basketball. Kelderman left wing, guarded by Dykstra, left corner to Wolver. Back to Kelderman, looking inside for Dornbos. Now backdoor for Denbeston, now goes to the dribble, free throw line. Looking inside, clears up top to Denbeston. Denbeston guarded there by Renshaw, left side pass to Kelderman. Kelderman looking inside, still looking. High post to Anderson, tipped away, Anderson gets it back. He's double teamed. Up top to Wolbert, two minutes to go in the quarter. Now inside to Anderson from Kelderman. Fall away, baseline jumper, no good. Rebound Kelderman, we got a foul on the rebound. A push called against, I believe, Jesse Lang. So the 6'8 sophomore, Jesse Lang, called for the foul. That's his first. And I believe that's 17 fouls in the Rockets. Nope, they say it's six. So 16 fouls in Rock Valley. Ball out of bounds to the Comets. And Beston plays it into the right of the Boyden Hull basket. In the corner, Wolber guarded by Johnson. Up top to Kelderman. Baseline pass to Anderson is tipped away by Ranshaw. Rock Valley fans thought Anderson might have touched the baseline, but the baseline official over there, Glenn Becker of Odebolt, said no. It belongs to the Comets. 151 left in quarter number three. Then Beston in the corner, looking out front, lobs to Anderson. Left side to Den Beston. And Beston looking inside, now up top to Wolber. Wolber with the ball, left wing to Kelderman inside to Anderson, stolen. Wolfswinkel stepped in front of it, and the Rockets have it back. Lob to Dykstra, he'll dribble it down the floor for Rock Valley. Lob inside, tipped away, and stolen by Kelderman. Comets come the other way, 1.30 left in the quarter. Kelderman on a wing, up top in Beston, fires an uncontested three, it's no good. Rebound off Lang, taken by Wolfswinkel. Now the Rockets on the run. Wolfswinkel stops right side. Up top to Ranshaw, fakes the three, left side pass to Dykstra, he'll take the three, it's good! Matt Dykstra's had three big baskets in this quarter for Rock Valley, they're up 34-30, 1.05 left to go in quarter number three. Comets with the ball, Kelderman up top, left wing to Denbeston. Denbeston back up top to Wolver, right side to Kelderman, looking inside for Dan Anderson, overplayed there by Wolfswinkle, now back out front to Wolver. Matt to Denbeston. Denbeston, high post, Anderson looking inside for Dornbos. The lob stolen. Dornbos had turned away from the play. Picked off by Wolfwinkel. Now to Ranshaw, left side of Johnson. Fakes the three. Baseline jumper again. Aaron Johnson's first field goal gives Rock Valley a 36-30 lead. 30 seconds left in the quarter. And the Rock Valley fans are making lots of noise here at the Western Christian Gym. Kelderman looking inside to Anderson. High post underneath Dornbos. Shot is blocked, but a foul in there. Called on Rock Valley. Foul on Mark Wolfswinkel, his second. 19.1 seconds remaining in the third quarter. This will be a free throw opportunity for Nathan Dorenbaugh. 
That's now 17,000 on the Rockets, so the Comets will be in the bonus situation for the remainder of the bowl game. As Dorenbos goes to the free throw line. He's 0 of 2 tonight. First one is no good. So Rock Valley playing with a lot more confidence here in quarter number three, and they've been led by a 6 4 sophomore off the bench, Matt Dykstra, second free throw and air ball. It's out of bounds to Rock Valley. So the Rockets with a six-point advantage, 36 to 30. Superintendent Les Dalma says one shot as the Rockets bring it front court. Ranshaw across the 10-second line with 10 seconds left, guarded by Denbeston with 8-7, looking for a screen. Goes right side, baseline, gives it off underneath to Lang, knocked away with 2-1. Left side to Dykstra for three, it's no good as the buzzer sounds. We're finished with three quarters, 36 for Rock Valley, 30 for Boyd in the Hall. We'll have the fourth quarter in one minute. This is Larry Denuco from the Farmer's Elevator section. Better Hog Supplements is the overall why Land Lake Pro Leader is number one in the Midwest. Pro Leader is a convenient and economical way to furnish your hogs all the essential nutrients they need. Fifteen different Metaflex products add versatility for breeding, growing, and finishing operations. Start improving your return on investment with Pro Leader. It's available at Farmers Elevator Company in Hudson. Get fast starts with first choice pig starters from Senex Land of Lakes. Custom tailor a program that matches your pigs and your management practices. The Farmer's Elevator in Boyden has the complete program, including Land O'Lakes' first choice pig starters. The products have proven their ability to consistently get pigs started right and growing fast. Stop at the Farmer's Co-op Elevator in Boyden today and discuss first choice pig starters. Let them help you make your pig nursery one of the most cost effective in the business. Welcome back to Western Christian High School. We start the fourth quarter of play with Rock Valley leading Boyd in the Hall, 36 to 30. The Rockets held the Comets to just two field goals in that third quarter. As Rock Valley has taken the lead and now extended to six. Again, Rock Valley has two of their starters in foul trouble. Bruce and Kefricks and Aaron Johnson, both with four apiece, and they're still out of the lineup. Well, now Johnson's back. Excuse me, Mirbeek and uh, Minkekricks. Johnson on the floor along with Ranshaw, Lang, Wolfswinkel, and Dykstra. Here's Johnson. On the dribble for the Rockets. Inside pass to Lang, guarded by Anderson. Banker off the side of the glass, taken by Anderson. So the Comets come away with the ball there. 36-30 they trail. This is KTS BFM, Sioux Center, Iowa. John Slegers with you from the Western Christian Gym in this 1A Rhea district final. Now the ball tipped away from Kelderman and tied up. Jesse Lang knocks it away from Kelderman and tied up Mitch Westra. Coach Paul Walton making a couple of changes during that quarter break. Westra's back in along with Troy Jansma to go along with Anderson, Kelderman, and then Beston. So the Comets with the ball here, trailing 36 to 30. Kelderman on the wing, up top to Westra. Right side, Jansma. Looking inside for Anderson, now dribbles baseline, puts it up over Lang, no good, but draws a foul. Troy Jansma went inside and drew the foul for Matt Dykstra. For Dykstra, that's number two. A big third quarter for Matt Dykstra of Rock Valley. He had two driving layups. One to give the Rockets their first lead since early in the ball game, and the next basket put him up three. His next was a three-pointer that put him up six. Free throw good by Troy Jansma on a two-shot opportunity. 36-31 the score. And one more free throw for Jansma. This one no good. Rebound taken by Dykstra. The free throw shooting had not been good for the Comets in the second half. Up top, Dykstra. Left side, Ranshaw. Looking for Lang down low. He's got it. Double team. Puts it up. Good. Jesse Lang inside. Has 17 for Rock Valley. 38-31 the Rockets lead. 6.45 to go. Jansma right side for the Comets. Up top to Westra. Westra left side at Investon. Nate Dornboss getting a breather during the quarter break. He'll come back in next time the ball is dead. Anderson goes inside. He scores. Anderson off the feed from Denbeston. Dan is 19. 38-33. Rock Valley. Ranshaw with the ball. Rockets won the last time these two teams met at Boyden Hall High School on January 16th by three points, 67-64. Rockets with the lead here by five, and they have the basketball. Keith Renshaw taking his time on the offense here. 
Picked up by Jansma from the man for man. Looking inside for Lang. He's got a double team taken away by Denbeston. Denbeston much shorter than Lang, but got in front of the pass and stripped it away. Thomas with the ball. Wester, right side, goes baseline underneath, puts it up. No good. Rebound fought for, taken by Kelderman. He goes back up. No good. Rebound Lang, and on the rebound, a foul called on Dan Anderson of Boyden Hall. Anderson picks up number three. That's five team fouls on the Comets. Ball out of bounds to Rock Valley. Dornboss back in, replacing Jansma. Bruce Benkekerich back in for the Rockets, replacing Aaron Johnson. So Benkekerich, who sat down most of this second half in foul trouble, is back in the lineup for Rock Valley. With 5.43 to play. Again, Rock Valley without their coaching staff tonight. They received a one-game suspension today for playoff rules violations having to do with taping basketball games. Superintendent Les Dalma and high school principal Dave Mylink on the bench for the Rockets tonight. Rock Valley with the ball, leading by five. Out front, Renshaw, bounce pass kicked by Kelderman. He had been Kekerick streaking to the basket from the right wing, but Kelderman got a foot on the ball. It's out of bounds to Rock Valley. They'll play it in in front of the Rockets bench. Out front, Renshaw. 5.15 left in the contest. Left side pass to Dykstra. Dykstra guarded by Westra. Goes baseline. Double team. And he's called for traveling. Dykstra pressured there on the double team. Pulled the pivot foot. Turnover gives it back to the Comets. It's 5.10 to go. It's a 38-33 Rock Valley lead. As the Comets have been able to score only three field goals in the second half. Kelderman with the ball. Up top to Westra. Right-sided in Beston. Inside, five minutes to play. Up top, Kelderman. Kelderman looking for Anderson inside. He's got it down low on Wolfwinkle. Jump hook from five. No good. Tip, tipped again. Anderson with a tip, and he's fouled. So credit Nate Dornbach for keeping the ball alive on the offensive board for the Comets. Anderson tried to tip, and he was fouled by Wolfwinkle. So Mark Wolfwinkle was foul number three. This will send Anderson to the free throw line for the Comets. And he will shoot... I believe two shots. Or did they say it was on a rebound? We'll wait and see. He may just get the one and one. So Anderson at the line, and it will be a one and one situation for Dan Anderson. First one, no good. Rebound, Kelderman goes back up off a of fake, scores, he's fouled. Kelderman got Wolf Winkle in the air, scored the basket, and drew the foul. So Sean Kelderman comes up big for the Comets that time. Basket is good. Foul is on Wolfwinkle. That's his fourth. So now Rock Valley has three players with four fouls each. That, by the way, the first field goal of the night for Kelderman. Troy Wolber back in for Mitch Westra as Sean Kelderman tries to pull his team within two. 38-35 Rock Valley. Free throw is good. <laughs> 38-36. Wolfwinkle comes out in for the Rockets is Ryan Dabalar, 6'4", sophomore, got a little action in the first half, and now is in here for the Rockets leading by two, 4.35 to go. Ranshaw with the ball, right side dribble, picked up by Dornboss in the mismatch, and we've got a whistle, a shove away from the ball, called on Mark Denbeston. Denbeston mismatched inside with Jesse Lang, Lang at 6'8", and Denbeston at 5'11". And that foul on Denbeston is his third. Five team fouls on the Comets, so no free throws yet for the Rockets. 4.27 left, and Kekrick from the dribble in the lane, puts it up, short, tips no good, fight for the rebound, taken by Lang. Left side of Renshaw, in the corner to Ben Kekrick, inside of Lang, turns on Dornbach, puts it up, no good, fight for the rebound, taken by Dornbach. Comets with the ball, they trail by two, 38-36, 4.05 left in the contest. So the Comets coming alive here in the fourth quarter. Inside pass to Anderson. Stolen. Stolen by Ben Kekrick. He's on the drive. Goes in the lane. Puts it up. No good. Rebound to Beston. Comets with the ball. Wolber front court. 3.45 to play. Wolber left wing to Kelderman. He'll fire a three. It's good. John Kelderman with a three-point basket. And Boyden Hull has retaken the lead at 39-38. Three and a half minutes to go. And we've got a pass inside of Lang. Goes in the lane out of Inkekerich. He spins, gives it off. 
Now up top to Dykstra, left wing to Ranshaw. Ranshaw goes into the lane, shovels it out, no good, but draws a foul from Dan Anderson. Anderson trying to draw a charge from Ranshaw, and Anderson picks up foul number four. So a 3.19 left to go in the contest. Dan Anderson has picked up his fourth personal foul for the Comets. And Keith Ranshaw slow to get up. He might have been shaken up a little bit. The official is going to call over the Rock Valley coaches now to take a look at Ranshaw. Knock himself out of joint. They're trying to straighten his left leg. So Ranshaw on the floor here with 3.19 to play. I did not see the flash on Anderson as to whether that was his fourth foul or not. I believe it is. So Keith Ranshaw on the floor here for the Rockets. The foul called on Dan Anderson, and they're seeing to Ranshaw here. With 3.19 left to go in the ball game. While we've got this break in the action, why don't we take a 30-second timeout and be back with more from the Western Christian Gym. At the Hall Pharmacy in downtown Hall, they have a lot more than fast and friendly prescription service. Hall Pharmacy features a full line of Carlton cards for every occasion. They're your one-day photo finishing dealer. Hall Pharmacy has everything from a super gift shop to all of your over-the-counter medication needs. The next time you need a card, a special gift, or medications of any kind, be sure and stop in at the Hall Pharmacy on the corner in downtown Hall. Well, an official timeout is Keith Ranshaw coming up with leg cramps here. He'll have to come off the floor. And uh, the Rockets will make a substitution here. Wolfswinkle will come back in, replacing Ryan Davilar. So the ball is out of bounds to Rock Valley. That foul was on the drive by Ranshaw, not the shot. 16 fouls in the Comets, so still no bonus for Rock Valley. Aaron Johnson will come back in, replacing Ranshaw. And with 3.19 to play, Boyden Hall leads now, 39-38. Sean Kelderman has scored two consecutive three-point plays, one a basket and a free throw, another a three-point play to give the Comets the lead. Lang, baseline, Johnson, turnaround, shot over to Beston, no good, tip by Lang, no good. On the rebound, we've got a tie ball, then Kekrix and Anderson. The arrow points to the Rockets here with 3.10 to go. Aaron Johnson will play it into the right of the Rockets' basket. Then Beston's on the ball for the Comets. Pass in the corner to Vinkekrich. Looking inside. Now goes to the dribble. Turns. High post to Lang. Up top to Dykstra. Dykstra running the offense now for Rock Valley at 6-4. Goes free throw line. Jumper. Good! Matt Dykstra with nine points in the second half. Rock Valley has the lead. 40-39. to 2.49 to play. Kelderman with the ball for Boyden Hall. Goes to the dribble, up top to Denbeston. Back in a wing to Kelderman, looking inside for Dornboss. Now swings up top to Wolver. Right side pass Denbeston. Looking again for Dornboss inside. Across to Kelderman, another three. It's blocked. Taken off the floor there by Denbeston. The Rockets had already turned the box out and didn't see the ball coming their way, and Denbeston alertly picked it up. Thomas at the ball, trailing one, 2.20 to go. Anderson with the ball on the wing, guarded by Dykstra. Right side and Beston, picked up by Jesse Lang. Up top to Wolber. Wolber picked up by Dykstra. Right side, Kelderman, picked up by Van Kekerich. Now to Wolber. Wolber in the corner to Kelderman. 2.05 left. Up top to Wolber. Comets are using the clock here. This might be that offense of theirs where they use as much time as they can. Inside pass to Anderson. we got a push in there, called against Jesse Lang. Lang calls for the foul as he and Anderson fighting for position inside for Jesse Lang, this number two. And that's 10 team fouls now on the Rockets, so two-shot bonus for Dan Anderson. Anderson tonight, two of five from the free throw line, and he will get two shots here. 156 to go. This is for the tie. It's no good. Rock Valley with 40, Boyd in the hole with 39, Anderson will get one more free throw here. Anderson with 19 points, this free throw no good, rebound Jesse Lang, and he's fouled. Foul on Nate Dorenbaugh, that is four on Dorenbaugh. So foul starting to pile up for both teams, the Comets have two players with four, Anderson and Dorenbaugh. Rock Valley has three players with four, Ben Kekrich, Mirbeek, and Wolfswinkle. 
At the line for Rock Valley goes Jesse Lang as that foul is now the seventh on the Comets. It's a one and one for Jesse Lang. First one, in and out. Rebound tipped away from Denbeston, taken by Wolber. Still 40 to 39 in favor of Boyd in the Hall, uh, Rock Valley rather, Boyd in the Hall with the ball. Wolber guarded tightly by Johnson, goes inside of Kelderman, bounce pass kicked out of bounds by Wolfswinkle. Kelderman trying to bounce pass across the lane. Wolfswinkle got a foot on it. It's out of bounds. Two Boyd in the Hall with 142 left. The winner goes to the 1A substate Saturday night in Spencer. Pass in the corner, Anderson, and a wing to Wolber. Wolber guarded by Johnson up top to Denbeston. Guarded by Dykstra, lob inside to Anderson, tipped away, tipped out of bounds by Ben Kekrick. Wolfswinkle got a hand on the ball, then Kekrick sets it last. It goes out of bounds, two Boyd in the Hall. 132 left in the contest. And now we got a timeout on the floor. Timeout with 132 left. Our score, Rock Valley 40, Boyd in the Hall 39. Back with more from Hall after this 30-second timeout. At Lee's Repair in Boyden, they do a lot of repair work. In fact, Lee specializes in the repair of all types of tractors, uniloaders, and skid loaders. Lee also does radiator repair. Lee's Repair also offers air conditioning service. Lee handles many welding jobs. When it comes to mechanical repair, it's Lee's Repair, just west of the Main Street Square on North Main in Boyden. Well, we just received word from Emmitsburg that West Bend Mallard, the eighth-ranked team in Class 1A, has advanced to this sub-state final. They defeated Grettinger tonight 49-48. to So West Bend Mallard awaits the winner of this game between Rock Valley and Boyden Hall for the 1A sub-state, which will take place Saturday night in Spencer. This issue still in doubt here at the Western Christian Gym. It's 40 for Rock Valley, 39 for Boyden Hall. But the Comets have the basketball. They'll play it in along their baseline. Kelderman, Dorenbosch, and Beston Anderson, and Wolber for Boyden Hall as then Beston plays it into the left of his team's basket. Pass out front to Kelderman, up top to Wolber. Wolber, left wing, Kelderman, back to Wolber. To Kelderman in the corner. Kelderman looking for Dornbosch, now holds up. Over to Wolber, 120 to go. Then Beston with a ball, guarded by Aaron Johnson. Up top to Kelderman, guarded by Dykstra. Right side of Wolber, picked up by Van Kekrick, looking inside for Anderson, guarded by Lang. Now baseline, Wolber pulls up, up top to Beston, 105 to go. Left side, Kelderman, looking for Dornbosch, guarded by Wolfswinkle. Now up top to Wolber, right side to Beston, then Beston looking in. Up top, Kelderman fakes the three, goes free throw line underneath, wide open to Anderson, he scores. Dan Anderson off the feed from Sean Kelderman, and it's 41-40 in favor of Boyden Hall. Here come the Rockets with the ball. 40 seconds to play. They trail one. Up top. The ball goes to Dykstra. Double team. Goes to the floor. Tipped away. And we've got a hold called on Boyden Hall. I think that foul was on Dan Anderson reaching in on Matt Dykstra. Yes, it is. Dan Anderson called for the foul, and that is his fifth. So Anderson fouls out with 33 seconds left. He leaves with 21 points. And it'll be free throw time for Matt Dykstra of Rock Valley. Dykstra has shown up huge tonight for the Rockets with nine points in the second half. Mitch Wester has come back in for the Comets, replacing Anderson. 33 seconds left. Dykstra at the free throw line. A one and one. Free throw. No good. Rebound Kelderman. Now the Rockets need the ball. 30 seconds left. Kelderman triple team. And we got a timeout called as Kelderman couldn't get rid of the ball, and he calls the timeout. 28.8 seconds left. Boyden Hall with a 41-40 lead, and they will have the basketball after we take this 30-second timeout. After serving local farmers for over 100 years, Farmers Mutual Insurance of Hall has expanded their business to service local town residents as well. Now folks in town can purchase their homeowner's package from a local agent with a local adjuster that's there to give fast and fair claim settlements. Check with your local agent of the Farmers Mutual Insurance of Hull with their competitive homeowner's policy rates. Talk to your local agent today.
Well, it's been a big finish here in this 1A district final. Boyd and Hull is a 41-40 lead. After a basket inside by Dan Anderson, and the next time down, Anderson committed his fifth personal foul and had to leave the lineup. Up to the free throw line step, Matt Dykstra missed the front end of the one and one. Sean Kelderman got the rebound and then called the timeout. 28.8 seconds left. Boyd and Hull is a one-point lead and the basketball. Keith Renshaw back in for Rock Valley now. As the Rockets pick up length of the floor. Pass into Kelderman. He's the guy that the Comets want with a basketball. Kelderman dribbles front court. 23 seconds left. He's double teamed and fouled. Fouled by Matt Dykstra. So at 21.1 seconds left, Sean Kelderman will go to the free throw line. And during that timeout, Coach Paul Walton says, give the ball to Kelderman and let him handle it down the floor. And he did. Picking up the foul, he'll get two free throws here. Rock Valley wants to call a timeout. And the Rockets will get it. 21.1 seconds left. Timeout Rock Valley. They trail Boyd in the hull. 41 to 40. We'll be back with more in 30 seconds. On these cold winter nights, the last thing that mom wants to do is cook. So why not order a great pizza from your local pizza ranch? Load up a deluxe stampede pizza. There's the Canadian bacon and pineapple sweet and slime. The barbecued beef branding iron or the prairie with all the veggies. Or just order a single ingredient like pepperoni or hamburger. When it comes to the Pizza Ranch pizza, you're assured value for your dollar. The Pizza Ranch. Hull, Orange City, Sioux Center, and Rock Valley. Timeout called by Rock Valley as Boyd and Hull will be at the free throw line. Sean Kelderman will shoot two here with 21.1 seconds left. He was fouled after taking the ball inbounds and down the floor for the Comets. Kelderman shooting over 75% on the year for the Rockets and will go to the line here with his team leading 41 to 40 and 21.1 seconds left. So the Comets break huddle here. Dan Anderson moments ago fouling out of the Comets lineup. And Kelderman gets set to shoot two. So Sean Kelderman did not score in the first half. But at seven points tonight, misses the first of two free throws. So the guy the Comets wanted at the free throw line misses the first. He'll get one more here. This one is up and good. So it's a two-point Comet lead at 42-40. 18 seconds left in Keckerick's front court. Looking for Ranshaw, and now the Rockets call a timeout. 12 seconds left in the contest as the Rockets call a timeout. Boyd and Hull lead 42-40, back with more in 30 seconds. Chances are you have a basic homeowner's policy, but with inflation, your present coverage may not be enough. That's why you should consult an independent... Sean Kelderman went to the line with his team leading by one, made one of two free throws, and now the Rockets here trail two with 12 seconds left as they set up their final play. You go for the tie or you go for the three and a victory here. We'll wait and see what the Rockets come up with. Then Kekrick will trigger the ball near midcourt in front of the Rock Valley bench. Dykstra, Ranshaw, Wolfswinkle, and Lang for Rock Valley. Westford and Beston Wolber. Kelderman and Dorenbach for Boyd and Hull. Then Keckrick triggers the ball. Backcourt to Ranshaw with 11, 10. Ranshaw stops, gives to Lang, goes down against Dorenbach. Shot baseline, good! Five seconds left. Thomas call a timeout. So Rock Valley... Again, Rock Valley without their coaching staff tonight. They were suspended for one game, and Superintendent Les Dalma and high school principal Dave Mylink are running the ball club tonight. So the Comets play it in. they got to go length of the floor. Kelderman back courted in Beston with three, two, one. Three-quarter court heave by Kelderman. No good. Just short of the rim. Inside, gives it off underneath to Lang. Baseline jumper, good. Jesse Lang with 21. Rock Valley, 44. Boynton Hall, 42. Comets without Dan Anderson. He fouled out with 33 seconds left in regulation. Kelderman with the ball. Up top to Westra. Right wing, Kelderman, guarded by Ranshaw, goes to the dribble, free throw line, double team. Now gives it left-sided in Beston. He's crowded there by Wolfswinkle. Now left side to Westra, looking down low to Dorenbach. Back to Wolber. 
Glover right wing to Kelderman. Kelderman looking inside. Backdoor pass to Wester. Drops it. Picks it up. Double team. And he's tied up. Wester went up. He was tied up by Wolfwinkle. The arrow points to the Comets. 314 left in the overtime. 44 for Rock Valley. 42 for Boyden Hull. Wester to play it in baseline. Pass in the corner. Tipped out of bounds by Wolfwinkle. Wolfwinkle's got a hand on a lot of passes in the second half. Several steals as well. This time the Comets will play it in near the right corner, the southeast corner, this Western Christian gym floor. Pass into Dornboss, back on a wing to Westra. Up top to Wolver, left side Kelderman. Kelderman near the three-minute mark, one bounce dribble, can't shoot across the lane to Denbeston, goes inside and he's fouled. Fouled on Keith Ramshaw, his third, and Denbeston will go to the line shooting two for the Comets. Mark Denbeston with three points tonight on a first-half three-point basket. And he will get two free throws here. 44 for Rock Valley, 42 for Boyden Hull. A full house here at the Western Christian Gym as Denbeston misses the first of two free throws. And free throw shooting has not gone well for the Comets tonight. They've had far more attempts than the Rockets. 22 to be exact, including this one. It's good by Denbeston, so it's a one-point bowl game at 44-43. Rockets have shot tonight only seven free throws. High post, Wolfwinkle gives it off left side to Aaron Johnson. Johnson to the dribble free throw line. Bounce pass right side to Lang, up top to Ranshaw. 2.44 to go, a one-point Rock Valley lead. Down low to Lang. Gives it back to Ranshaw, back down low to Lang. On Dornbosch, fakes in the lane, five-footer, short, rebound Dornbosch. Dornbosch might have got a hand on that shot attempt by Lang, and the Comets come away with it. Wolver front court, right side pass to Westra. Up top to Kelderman, now to Wolver. Left side Kelder, uh, to Denbeston. Denbeston up top to Westra, 2.15 to play. Rockets lead by one, Comets with the ball. To Kelderman, kicked away off Aaron Johnson. It'll be out of bounds to the Comets. Sideline official there, Glenn Becker, right on the play. Becker from Odebolt, the other official tonight, Deal Berenger of Holstein. Comets with the ball here, leading, or rather trailing by one, 44-43. 2.05 to play in the first overtime. Here's Wester with the ball, guarded by Wolfswinkle. To Kelderman, 1.59 left. Kelderman, baseline, Wester fires, baseline, no good, rebound, Wolfswinkle. Now the Rockets with the ball, 152 to play. They lead by one. So we'll hear, see here if the Rockets run the offense or try to take the air out of the ball. Then Kekrich with it. Sideline now goes to the dribble, left front to Ranshaw. 139 to play. Right wing to Johnson. Johnson on the dribble, inside pass to Lang. Back out to Johnson. Now to Wolfwinkle up top. Gives to Ranshaw, 130 to go. Out front to Lang, back to Ranshaw. The Rockets reset. 125 left, a one point Rock Valley lead. Aaron Johnson inside the line, tipped away by Kelderman, out of bounds. Kelderman came from the weak side, got in front of the pass, but couldn't control, it belonged to the Rockets. And again, cramps bothering Ranshaw. He had to leave earlier with those leg cramps, and he's going to hobble off the floor here as Matt Dykstra comes back in. So the ball out of bounds for Rock Valley here with 119 to go in overtime. The Rockets lead the Comets 44-43. to The winner will face West Bend Mallard, the state's eighth-ranked team in Class 1A for the 1A substate Saturday night in Spencer. Dykstra to play it in sideline in front of the Rock Valley bench. Back court, it'll be taken by Aaron Johnson. 1.15 left as the Rockets here lead by one. Johnson guarded out front by Wolberg. Gets a screen from Lang, now holds it up. Up top to Dykstra, guarded by Denbeston. 105 to play. Now left side to Dykstra, Rockets with the ball. Dykstra, or rather Johnson on the dribble, fouled by Wolber. So Troy Wolber fouling Aaron Johnson. For Wolber, that's number two, and Johnson will go to the free throw line for the first time this evening. Boyden Hull tonight, nine of 22 from the free throw line. The Comets, two of seven. Free throw is good by Johnson. So neither team shooting free throws well tonight. But Johnson's free throw puts Rock Valley up two. Second free throw. Good again. 46-43, Rock Valley. One minute to play. 
Comets front court. Warber on the dribble. Up to Denbeston. 50 seconds left. Denbeston guarded by Matt Dykstra. 45 seconds left. Denbeston right side to Kelderman. Comets trail by three. Baseline Dorenbos. Back out to Kelderman. Fakes the three. Goes inside. Puts it up. No good. Rebound Lang. Rocket to the ball. The Wolfswinkel. 33 seconds left. Over to Dykstra. Quickly to Vinkekrick. 30 seconds left. Rockets up by three. And they call a timeout. 46-43, Rock Valley over Boyden Hall with 28 seconds left in overtime. Back with more in 30 seconds. What's new? He gives the ball to Vinkekarik. Now, Comets are going to have to foul, and they do, as Kelderman fouls Vinkekarik. 21.6 seconds left. Vinkekarik will go to the line, and he will get a two-shot bonus as Boyden Hall is over the 10-foul limit. That foul on Kelderman is his second, and going to the free throw line for Rock Valley will be Bruce Vinkekarik. First free throw is good. Vinkekarik makes it 47-43 in favor of Rock Valley, and one more free throw is coming here to the 6-1 senior. It's short, an air ball out of bounds to the Comets. So 21.6 seconds left, 47 for Rock Valley, 43 for Boyden Hall. The winner faces West Bend Mallard in the sub-state final Saturday night. 18 seconds left. Wolber front court. Drives the lane. Puts it up. No good. Tipped off the glass. Taken by Dornboss. Up. No good. But he's fouled. A foul called on Jesse Lang with 11.8 seconds left. And Nathan Dornboss will go to the free throw line for Boyden Hull. Lang with foul number three. Dornboss will get two shots. Dornboss tonight 0 of 4 from the line. 6'8", senior, free throw is good. Doran Boss is 5 tonight, 47 to 44. Corey Sanders back in for the Comets, replacing Mitch Westra here. And Doran Boss will get one more free throw. So we've still got a ball game here. 47-44, free throw.